Hello and welcome to this hypnotherapy session that I created to help you to let go of and to get past betrayal in relationships. My name is Suzanne Robichaud. I'm a registered clinical hypnotherapist. And before we begin today, I want you to make sure that you are sitting or laying back comfortably, that all distractions have been turned off. Use a headset if you can for the best experience. And remember to only listen to this at the appropriate times. Your eyes will be closed and you will be going within. And as you get settled today, as you get ready for this hypnotherapy session, I just want to remind you that the betrayal by somebody else is not a reflection of you. It can so often feel like it has to do with us when somebody lies to us when somebody betrays us or our trust, we can put it all on us and begin to think that there's something wrong with us. When somebody betrays our trust, it can bring up all of our insecurities and self-doubts. But as we enter into this session today, I want you to remember that this is not your fault, that the betrayal, the lying, whatever it is that happened is not a reflection of you. It is a reflection of the person that did it. And this hypnotherapy session is all about you choosing to let it go, to not allow it to be a reflection of you. This hypnotherapy is going to guide you to let go of the anger, to release any denial, any excuses that your mind may be creating to make it okay. This hypnotherapy session is going to help you to let go of needing to understand, to figure things out that you will never know, that you will never be able to understand. This hypnotherapy session is going to help you to forgive, to let go of the anger and to replace it with peace. You are doing this for you, for your own well-being, your own mental health. And because what other people do is not your fault. So when you're ready, let's begin. Let's begin by taking a nice big deep breath in. And as you exhale, let your eyes close down. Just keep your eyes closed now. Take another nice big deep breath in and this time as you exhale, let any tension flow from the body with the breath. Just let it flow from the body with the breath. And in a moment, I want you to take one more nice big deep breath in. But this time when you exhale, I want you to imagine your whole body deflating like a balloon. So do that now when you're ready. Just imagine your whole body deflating like a balloon, surrendering to the surface beneath it as you begin to breathe naturally now, in and out your nose, following the flow of your breath for a few moments, using your breath to bring stillness to your body and quiet to your mind, following the flow of your breath as it moves through the body, allowing the whole outside world to begin to fade away outside thoughts to leave your mind and as you focus on your breathing for a few more moments I just want to remind you I want to let you know that all hypnosis is self-hypnosis you are always in complete control simply follow the sound of my voice and my suggestions and allow my voice to be your guide into a nice deep natural state where healing can happen, where changes can be made. So just a few more moments on your breath.
And on your next exhale, just forget all about the breathing. Just let your body breathe slow, deep, and rhythmic on its own. And let's just take a moment to guide the body into a nice, deep state of body sleep. Your body already knows how to do this. It happens every night when you go to bed. Your body always falls asleep before your mind. So I want you to think about a wonderful, soothing, relaxing feeling. Maybe you like the way that it feels to step into a hot bath, hot water. Or maybe it's a warm sensation, like the way that it feels to step into a warm shower or a cool sensation, that cool feeling on a hot day. I want you to think about a soothing, relaxing feeling. And I want you to imagine that you're stepping into that feeling now. Stepping into that feeling with both of your feet. And that soothing relaxation flows through your feet the ankles, into the calves, releasing and relaxing all of the muscles in your calves. And you just imagine stepping even deeper into that feeling now, thinking about that soothing feeling flowing through the knees, into the upper leg. You simply think about all the muscles in the legs turning off, shutting down. Just allow your legs to give way to the surface beneath them. As you guide this feeling all the way up to the hips and the waist, so that from the waist down to the soles of your feet, you are becoming wonderfully, deeply relaxed. From the waist down to the soles of your feet, you are so wonderfully, deeply, relaxed with every breath that you exhale you become more and more deeply relaxed than on the breath before allowing your whole body to sink into the surface beneath it as this feeling flows through the back the whole lower abdominal area feel any tension from the day just flow from your body with your breath as this feeling flows and spreads all through the back chest, all the way up to the shoulders and through the shoulders. Feel your shoulders drop ever so slightly. Let your arms become heavy. As you think about this feeling, you guide this feeling down through the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, right out the palms of the hands the tips of the fingers and you just observe how well your body responds to your thoughts as this feeling flows into the neck washing away clearing away any tension that was being held in the neck feel your head sink into the surface beneath it 
Let your head become heavy as this feeling flows all through your scalp, all through your head into your forehead, over your eyebrows, your eyelids, your cheeks, your jaw. Let your jaw drop ever so slightly as all of the muscles in your face become soft and smooth, so wonderfully relaxed. And this feeling flows through the chin, the front of the neck, into the chest, so that from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, you are becoming wonderfully, deeply relaxed. And you just let your whole body give way, let go into that nice, deep state of body sleep while your mind stays focused the sound of my voice, every word that I say. I want you to imagine that you are on a beautiful beach. A beautiful beach. It's the most perfect beach you could ever be at. The water is calm. The weather is perfect. You can feel the sand beneath your feet. The ground beneath your feet. And you look out at the sky, out at the horizon, where the sky and the water meet. It's a beautiful day. Not a care in the world. And there waiting for you, the water's edge, is a beautiful boat, the most perfect boat, a very safe, a very secure boat. It's exactly the perfect size so that you could feel safe. And maybe your boat has a captain someone driving it, or maybe you prefer to be in this boat on your own. It doesn't matter, but I want you to imagine yourself walking towards this perfect, beautiful boat that is there waiting for you today. You step into the water's edge, feeling that cool, tingly sensation flow through your feet and into the ankles, stepping into the water up to the boat, making your way into, onto this beautiful, safe, perfect boat. You find a place where you can sit, where you can lay back, where you can let go even more deeply. A place on this boat where you can lay back and just allow yourself to be carried away ever so gently. As the boat begins to move out Gently, safely, away from the water's edge. And this boat is carried away gently by the waves. And you just let go even more deeply, allowing the gentle waves to carry you away deeper and deeper into the peace, deeper and deeper 
into the peace, calm, feeling lighter and lighter. Did you feel like you were being carried away? The weather is exactly as you like it. Not a care in the world as you just let go. The air, the water all around you almost seems to shimmer and sparkle. Beautiful energy all around you. This beautiful day. You have all the time in the world you can see just up ahead where the boat is heading, a beautiful little island, beautiful little island, there's beautiful trees, there's a beautiful little forest there on this island. Your boat gets closer and closer almost to the shore, almost to the water's edge. It gently stops, gently comes to a stop there, at the water's edge. It's the most beautiful island you have ever seen. The colors are so vibrant. Trees are beautiful, the sand looks magical. So you step out of the boat, stepping into the water again, making your way to the beach, to the sand. You feel the warm sand under your feet as you make your way to the beach. Looking all around you on this beautiful day, you have the whole island to yourself. It's just for you. And you see a small opening in the trees, an opening in the forest. So feeling curious, you walk over to it. And it's a path beautiful path lit up by the sun flowing through the trees. You can see that it's not very long. You can see an opening just up ahead. So you begin to walk along this path, this trail one step at a time, feeling guided, guided by a feeling that you can trust being called down this path, feeling safe, comfortable. With every step that you take down this trail, down this path, you begin to feel lighter and lighter, lighter and lighter, making your way towards the opening at the end of the path. And as I count from three down to one, when I get down to that last number, finding yourself standing in a beautiful opening in the middle of this forest, with a beautiful temple, a beautiful ancient temple right there in front of you. Three, two, and one. Stepping into the opening now, the beautiful opening there, in the middle of this beautiful, magical forest, on this beautiful, magical island, on this beautiful, magical day. The temple is beautiful. You can tell that it's been around for so long. There are trees growing through it, around it. They have become one. 
this temple in nature. And you walk towards it. There are a few steps to the doorway and it's open. The door is gone. It's an opening inviting you in, welcoming you in. And as you make your way to the door, as you step inside, you step inside of this big, beautiful round room, big, beautiful round room opening to the sky. The ceiling is long gone. The roof is long gone. But the walls are still there. Filled with nature and light. You notice that there are three doors around this room, along the perimeter of this room. Three doors in this beautiful, magical temple. So I want you to walk to the first door. Just make your way to that first door. Maybe there's an old door still. Maybe it's gone. But as you step into this first room, you see there in the center of the room, a beautiful fire surrounded by a ring, a circle of rocks. Beautiful fire just burning in the center of this room. And you can see the smoke flowing all the way up through the opening in the ceiling, flowing up into the sky. There's a seat, a small chair by the fire, a small table beside it. And on that table is a note. So you sit down in the seat and you read the note. And the note is for you. It's a reminder to let you know that it's time to accept what has happened, to accept the truth, the facts around being betrayed, having your trust broken. It's time to let go of any denial, any need to make up excuses, reasoning around what has happened. You don't want to carry it anymore. You don't want to try to figure it out anymore. You don't want to try to understand anymore. You don't want to ask any more questions. It's time to move on. It's time to let go of any denial, any need for reasoning. It's time for acceptance so that you can be at peace. And this note is a reminder you open it up and it reads acceptance, acceptance. And you are choosing in this moment to accept what has happened, to accept it so that you can let it go, accept it for what it is, accept it as a reflection of the other person, not you, that it is somebody else's behaviors, not yours. Accepting that this is the behavior of one person, not all people, but accepting that it has happened. And you take that piece of paper that reads acceptance and you put it in your pocket and you just take a moment here to pull out of you, to pull off of you anything that you may still be holding on to, any questions anything that inside of you is still causing you to try to figure it out, to understand something that you will never understand or figure out. I want you to just put it into that fire. However it happens for you is perfect, whether it's words, feelings. It doesn't matter. Pull it out of you. Pull it off of you. Put it into that fire and just let it burn. 
Just watch it turn into smoke and flow up through the roof, up into the air. Just let it go. It will be turned into beautiful love energy as you keep that acceptance with you. And you leave the room. It's taking a moment to do this. And then making your way back out into that main room the center of the temple. You step back out into this room and it seems to be even brighter. The sunlight even more beautiful. The moment you step into this room, that beautiful light flows over your body, washes over your body, cleanses your body, your heart, every cell of your being. You really step into that acceptance, choosing to be free. You make your way to the next door, the next room, the second room. You notice that there's a door, or maybe it just opens up right into the room. You step through the doorway. It's similar to the first room. The fire burning in the middle of the room. A circle of rocks all around the fire. A chair and a small table. And there's a note there for you again. And the note reminds you to focus on love and inner peace. That you get to choose what you think about and focus on. Whatever you think about, whatever you focus on is how you will feel. And you are choosing love and inner peace. And in order to get to it today, in order to keep that love and inner peace with you, you must let go of the anger. You must let go of the anger and the resentment that you are still feeling, that you may still be carrying around being betrayed, being lied to, being hurt, whatever it is that has happened to you, whatever it is that this other person has done to you. That anger, that resentment, it has served its purpose. It served its purpose in letting you know that you deserve better. It served its purpose in letting you know that you are worthy of so much more. And you remember in this moment that this is not you, that you did not do this. That these feelings were created by the actions of another person. And you don't want to keep them with you. You don't want to hold on to them. So I want you to use your powerful imagination and I want you to imagine that you're pulling out of you, pulling off of you any anger, any resentment around being betrayed, having your trust broken. And you remember that this anger was around one person, this one specific person that hurt you, not all people. Any anger that you feel towards yourself around being fooled, around not seeing things more clearly. You let that go too. It's not going to serve you. You have your knowledge, your wisdom that will always stay with you. And you have caution. But this anger, holding on to it is only hurting you. And you are not going to allow the behavior of one other person to determine how you feel as you go throughout your day, how you see the world and other people. You won't let that happen. So you put that anger, the resentment, anything attached to it into that fire, pull it out of you, pull it off of you. Let it burn. Watch it turn into smoke and flow right out the roof of this room into the sky to be turned into beautiful love energy. And that paper, as you look at it on the table, 
that reads love and inner peace. You pick it up and you put it in your pocket as you choose, you choose love and inner peace. And you leave the room, making your way back out into that main room. The moment you step back out into it, it's even brighter. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It's the most beautiful light you have ever seen, that you have ever felt. And this beautiful radiant light just flows over your whole body through you, clearing away, cleansing you, your whole body, your mind, your body, your soul with this beautiful radiant light and you feel lighter you feel freer than you have ever felt before you can feel that love and that inner peace inside of you flowing from you but there's one more room so you make your way to that third doorway You notice what the door looks like if there is one. It opens easily. Or maybe there's no door. It's just an opening. But as you step into that room, as you step through that door, this room is just like the other two. With another beautiful fire just waiting there for you in the middle of the room. A circle of rocks all around it a little chair and a table. So you walk to it, you sit in the chair and you pick up the piece of paper and it reads forgiveness. And you know, you're not surprised. You know that forgiveness is required so that you can truly be free. To forgive is not to forget. To forgive is not to lose the knowledge or the wisdom that you learned from this experience. To forgive doesn't even mean that you need to be friends with or have this person in your life in any way. Forgiveness is to allow yourself to be free, to be free from what this person did to you, to be free from anything that it triggered from within you, any past hurts and pains that made you feel similar. You are not going to allow the behavior of others to determine how you feel, how you make your way through your day as you live your life. You are not going to allow their behaviors to affect you, to get in the way of you experiencing real, true love, unconditional love, that is available to you. So I want you to take a few moments. Take a few moments to think about anything that may be holding you back from being able to forgive, to be free. And I want you to pull it out of you. I want you to pull it off of you. I want you to put it into that fire. You're doing this for you, that's why you're here. You want to be free. You deserve to be free. The feelings that you are feeling, that you have not been able to let go of, they are feelings created by another person. There's something to learn and to grow from, but you are not meant to hold and carry these feelings. Throw it all into the fire. Watch it burn and turn into smoke. And you pick up that piece of paper that reads forgiveness. You fold it and you put it in your pocket. And you make your way out of the room, back into that open room in the center of the temple. The moment you step into the room, the light the energy is so beautiful, so magical. It's almost as though the air is shimmering and sparkling. The energy is so beautiful. And you feel it just wash over you and through you. 
You feel so light, so free as the beautiful light just shines onto your body, cleansing you and purifying you even more. You feel so good, so light, so free. You just take a few moments here in this beautiful temple, letting the light just bathe you. Feeling that peace, that love that is always there within you. And you refuse. You refuse to allow the behavior of others to affect how you feel, your ability to enjoy your life. You will not suffer. You will not be a victim to their behavior. You will take the learning from your experience. You will keep that knowledge and that wisdom so that you see the signs in the future and you know what you deserve, that you are worthy of being treated with respect, with honesty, with compassion. You realize in this moment that you are worthy of being treated with love and kindness you know your worth. And as you make your way out of the temple, back onto that beautiful path to return to the boat, to return to the present time and place, you carry that beautiful feeling of knowing your self worth, what you deserve and what is important to you. And you stay true to that from this moment on stepping out of the temple now into that beautiful opening, making your way back towards that path to make your way back to the beach and the boat, feeling good, feeling lighter, feeling freer, feeling so proud of the commitment that you are making to yourself today to always stay true to yourself and to make your worth important. Stepping back out into the beach, onto the beach, into the boat ready to be brought back to this present time, this place, feeling lighter and feeling freer. As I count from one to five, when I reach that number five, returning right back to the present time and place that you're in, feeling absolutely amazing, knowing your worth. Just beginning to bring your awareness back to the present time and place, the room that you're in, the surface beneath your body. Two, beginning to move your muscles, the muscles in your face, your arms, your legs. Three, feeling good in every way, feeling that inner peace and that self-love like you've never felt it before. Vowing to keep this feeling with you, to stay true to yourself. From this moment on, four, feeling ready to move, to stretch, to open your eyes. And five, when you're ready, open your eyes, stretch, and say the words out loud, wide awake. And just taking your time. Just taking your time. If you enjoy this session, please remember to like it, to share it, with others who you know may benefit. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It helps my channel a lot by acknowledging that you are subscribed, and I really appreciate it when you do. Leave a comment below this video to share your experience. I would love to hear about your experience. And until next time, take care.